Hi everyone and welcome back. What is consciousness? In this short video, I'll share the Buddha's view of consciousness, a profound perspective that modern science and quantum physics are only beginning to touch. Let's begin. When we hear consciousness, many think it means being awake or alive. But in the Buddha's teaching, consciousness is just a brief moment of knowing, not a constant stream. Ask yourself, do you remember every single thing you experience today? We see, hear, touch, and think constantly, but we only become aware of a few things. That moment of awareness, that flash, is what the Buddha called consciousness. The Buddha explained that the mind is not fixed, it flows like a wave. Each moment of mental activity or beat of mind moves through 17 waves divided into three stages. Waves 1 to 3 belong to the dawn season, the beginning phase of the mind's activity. Waves 4 to 15 make up the prime season, the most active phase of the mind. Waves 16 and 17 are part of the close season, the final phase where the mind begins to let go. 1. Life wave connects the mind to the body. 2. Vibration wave activates mental energy. 3. Deviation wave turns the mind toward an object. 4. Attraction wave gets pulled toward the object. 5. Consciousness wave the moment you know. 6. Determination wave prepares to respond. 7. Decision wave 8. Contact wave 9 to 15 waves are recurrent waves, reinforcing the reaction. 16 and 17 are first receding wave, begins to let go. Second receding wave ends the process. So, can you see that it's the fifth wave that represents true consciousness? The rest set the stage or follow through. These 17 waves move incredibly fast giving rise to a stream of momentary awareness. So what drives this wave-like flow of the mind? The Buddha taught that in every unit of mind there are seven major currents. These currents are like invisible forces that keep the 17 waves flowing smoothly, guiding birth, existence and death of each beat of mind. Each current has a special role shaping how the mind behaves, how strong or clear it is, and how it interacts with the world. They mix and move together, just like energy flows in nature, creating the rhythm of thought, feeling, and perception. Think of an old movie reel. Each frame is still, but when played in sequence, it becomes motion. The 17 waves are like individual frames in a film. Consciousness is just one frame, a brief moment when the mind becomes aware of something before the next wave arises and fades. Just like how you can only see one frame at a time, consciousness is that single instant of knowing, the moment you are aware. In quantum physics, scientists are beginning to explore whether consciousness might come from quantum processes like entanglement or superpositions in the brain. But in the Buddha's view, the relationship is reversed. The mind does not come from the brain. Instead, the brain is simply a physical tool used by the mind to help manage the body. The brain helps maintain the environment of the sense organs and controls movement, but has no real connection to the mind's true nature. The mind is far beyond the brain. It travels faster than anything simultaneously, even beyond the limits of space and matter. What the mind actually uses is the heart which serves as its primary base along with the six sense organs eyes, ears, nose, tongue, touch. These are the only physical instruments the mind requires to interact with the material world. So in the Buddha's view the brain is not the source of consciousness, it's just part of the body's support system. The real operator is the mind, flowing in waves timeless and dynamic. So what is consciousness? It's not constant, not something you have, but something that happens briefly over and over 
a spark, a wave, a frame in the movie of the mind. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this glimpse into the Buddha's view of consciousness, give it a like and subscribe for more insights into mind, reality and the universe.